of the uh, opening, grand opening of the Park Theater. <laughs> Live here on Who Do You Like TV. We got Martin Cornelius. Cornelius? Yeah. And you're, um, you're one of the partners. One of the partners. One of the partners. Okay. Yeah, one of the partners. And uh, yeah, so we're going to cut. And then we're going to interview James. He's another partner, right? Hi, guys. And, uh, yeah. Fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but we'll, we'll yeah. We'll keep up to date with everything. We'll interview the, the art work upstairs and stuff. Yeah, we're we'll gonna do work all of that stuff. Thank you. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and if there's anything else you want to get in to the to the show, let me know. You know, we'll just, we will. And once all this, we'll sit down and we'll all have a chat now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, I yeah. got it. <laughs> Come on. Good luck. Maryland, as far away as Connecticut, 
and all, the, all over to come here to be able to experience that moment in the faith which we ourselves have. So I have just blessed this, what do you call it? A plaque. <laughs> Bless this plaque, uh, may it be an instrument of attracting people to come here and to give of their all for the good of everyone in our community. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay then, John. Thank you very much. I believe that my uh, tour is going to be sorely lacking after that speech, so thank you for Dr. Cockerty. <laughs> Um, I would like to uh, uh, extend a, a, a thanks and gratitude to uh, my producing partners um, that have uh, helped in the, the last uh, several months here, uh, including just uh, making sure that we have uh, the start of our plan one uh, of the refurbishment, which uh, hopefully you'll be able to join us and enjoy. Uh, also, our food and refreshment from our local community uh, restaurants that are here, so please check in with them. Uh, they were gracious enough to donate um, that, also beer, wine, uh, water, sodas, uh, you name it. Um, so thank you, and also for our performers that are performing today, our volunteer staff. Um, uh, my producing partners are Martin Cornelis, James Dalton, John Harrison, um, also Eric Zeroda, and uh, Kara London, our, our artists in our gallery. Um, thank you. We also have our design team, which is upstairs. Uh, Jennifer Anderson, Jennifer Anderson's design, which is she's in the back right there. So you'll see the, the costume rental shop that we have that is, we're putting in upstairs. Um, uh, at this time, I would like to uh, introduce the commissioners um, uh, that were sent over. Um, without the support of the Honorable Mayor, Brian Stack, we wouldn't be here. Um, it was first uh, through a friend of mine that uh, we were told about the space and that they, there was a need for somebody of my um, character, judgment, and free will and uh, time expertise. to come over here. Yes, expertise, thank you, expertise. And also the fact that I don't sleep. So, um, so uh, it's perfect for you, John. Nobody will bother you from midnight to six. So, um, so I wanted to uh, thank him. I'd like to bring up at this time, uh, Commissioner Wendy Grinnell, yes. And then also we're gonna be hearing from Commissioner Val Valdiva, Valdiva, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. We are very happy to be here today on this grand opening. Uh, this will be great for our community. Uh, the, uh, this theater has become a symbol of Union City, and we are so happy to have you back on behalf of our Mayor Brian Stark and the City of Union City. Congratulations, and we wish you all the best. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. It's an honor to be here. I want to first thank you for restoring this historical theater. I even learned a little history. I'm a lifelong resident of Union City, born here. And I always, uh, I just learned that this was a first passion play. I was going to mention that I always remember the passion play. I also lived a block here, a block from here, 576 32nd Street, where my three children that are adults now grew up. So I would see the buses parked for the Passion Play and for other events that happen here. Going back in time, little time, uh, Emerson High School and Union Hill High School, now we have one high school. Back then, when we had, all had the two high schools, we will alternate dates for graduation, and I'm from the class of 1980, Union Hill High School. Mm. So I have many good memories when I graduated here from high school back in 1980. Thank you very much for restoring this historical theater. And I just wish you guys the best and a lot of success. Thank you very much. So at this time, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the commissioners to come up and uh, do a ribbon cutting. Then we're going to open the doors and have you come inside the theater. And we're going to do a little tour um, of what our plan is, where we're starting in phase one, and kind of work you through um, the, uh, the refurbishment of the downstairs. And then take you upstairs so you can have some lunch. Uh, that's been provided and uh, some music, uh, that, some live music upstairs. There's also some coffee back down here and the biscotti is actually pretty great too. So um, we hope that you guys can enjoy. Please sign our email list. We will be doing a theater opening at the end of April for a gala weekend for our theater opening. Today is mostly focused on our art gallery. We please uh, I invite you to go through the three rooms in the art gallery that are upstairs. We'll be doing some tours, some walking tours throughout the day, so um, we hope that you can join us. I won't be as uh, eloquent as Father Doherty, 
but I'll be able to tell you about nails and screws and hammers and guns like that. And if you want to know anything about theater on the stage, that's my, that's my specialty and my expertise. So at this time, we invite the commissioners to come up to cut the ribbon for us. <clears throat> We're here with Who Do You Like TV, everybody? And we're here at the uh, Park Theater, the grand opening. And we got James, John, and Martin, and their uh, partners, right? We These are, are all partners yes, in the place. Yeah. So uh, this is the first uh, big, big night. It's the first one, yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. We're very excited. Uh, again, Union City, the, uh, New Jersey. So we, right. want, we just literally opened the doors with you guys yeah. not 20 minutes ago. Fantastic. Right, and right. We're so delighted that you guys are here to yeah. be a part of this very special day yeah. for us here. Yes. And, and you're going to have some great acts coming to this theater. We are. We're going, theater to be, and we're going to be very diverse here. We're, we're going to run the gamut not only between all the way from rock to rap, uh, Latin music, all the way to Broadway and off-Broadway shows. Wow. So literally what we're going to do here, we're opening the community doors and we're welcoming everyone and every style of and, act. And, and every Martin. age as well. And every age, age right? Yeah. 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 We've got uh, kids. Show right for yeah, kids. Yeah. For Nika Jam. Yeah. For Nika yeah, for Nika Jam. Jam. We, we, we interview. Yeah, kids musicals that we're going to be putting here right. a lot on, do, during the weekends, and it's phenomenal. We've been working with them. I've been working with them for the last two years, and it's just been such a success. Even in China, they're opening next week in Los Angeles. It's all yes, over the place, yeah. and we're finally bringing it here as bring well. Bringing it down. So it's going to be great. It's very cool. Yeah. Right? Very cool. But also, it's unique because it was from the 1930s, right? The, this the theater Derby. opened up in 1931 for the Passion Play. This theater was built right. for the performance of the Passion Play wow. in 1931. And it's, it's housed a lot of very, very famous people here. George yeah. Carlin actually shot a special here. George Carlin, um, wow. Run DMC and Aerosmith actually shot the video, walked his way yeah. in, the, in the 1980s. Cool. Wow. And uh, Johnny Cash actually graced the stage here. Hey, so, oh, yeah, absolutely. So a, lo a lot of very famous people yeah. have treaded the boards right Luther here. Luther Vance Ross played here in 2000. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And it's fun too. Like we, we had some local community coming over as well. And one, some people start sharing their stories and one percent, like, 
oh, this is where I met Tina Turner for the first time. It's like, what, really? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> so yeah. everybody has all these great stories, and they're very excited that these doors are finally opening again, and, and the dust is, is flying out, and like the new, the new energy it's comes like, It's like again. bringing back all the music from the past to the yeah. future, right. and, and now, you That's know? That's right, yeah. So we're, we hope that this is an amazing infusion into the culture and the community right here in yeah. Union City, New Jersey. Yes. And again, come to the Park Theater, nj.org, and we're going to have a full schedule of all our events. Right. And come over and join us. Come play at the park. Yeah. Who's the uh, first act that you're going to have to, to open well, up? Well, the, the very first thing that we're going to do here is it's going to be uh, Frankenstein the musical. Okay. And we're opening the doors to a lot of the community schools here that we're actually doing a $10 special. So we, uh, for the first three weeks of our opening, for the okay. next, uh, we're actually running that, that event where they're going to, the schools are going to come over and they're going, they're going to enjoy and see live theater and maybe instill some passion for right. the younger. Yeah. Uh, and also the, um, uh, the uh, sound in this theater is unbelievable, right? I mean, it's a... Uh, it I mean, it's, it's built for to be performing without a microphone. That's the original. Yes, you know, and it's right. just the, phenomenal. The, the old-fashioned way. Right? Yeah, the old-fashioned. The acoustics are just beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it just this this theater is is eclectic a little bit in design, but it's just it's yeah. it, everything comes together, and that's you know. Well, that's gonna that's what's gonna bring a lot of the great musicians, artists. Yeah. You it's know, a special, play it's writers a special place here to the Union place, City. right? Yeah, it's yeah. Very special. So, all right. So, you have anything else that you want to tell the people out there? Again, it's uh, the, Just, our our mantra is come play at the park, and that's what we want to do. Uh, so, anybody open? out there? Our doors are open yes, again. Uh, the Park Theater, nj.org. Uh, check out our new events and upcoming. And guys, come on over and play at the park. All right. Who do you like TV? Come down, everybody. Yes. All right, we're here for the grand opening of the Parks Theater, everybody. And we're here with somebody who's going to tell us about an event that's going to go. Her name is Ashton Perrick. Yes, thank yes. you. How you doing? So good. Yeah. I am really grateful to be here. And mm -hmm. we are so excited to bring Finiki Jam to Finiki. Park Theater. Yeah, yeah. So explain a little bit about it because, uh, you know, a lot of the kids and the families want to know about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Finiki Jam, we're based in New York City. We're a world music theater company. And we specialize in children's musicals and okay. classes. We have 65 weekly classes, two international tours this year. Wow. We have an off-Broadway show at the Actors Temple Theater and next week we open our show in LA which makes us bi-coastal. Bi-coastal, yeah. And we're most excited about coming to the Park Theater. Right, and, and what's the date on that? That is April 25th. Our April show 20th. will be here. We'll have a show at 1 p.m. in English and a 3.30 show that is in Spanish. Oh wow, so you're gonna have Two different audiences, or like you're not gonna, you could, exactly two okay. different audiences. All right, and uh, so what exactly uh, is it going to be about, like with the with the kids? Great question. Um, our mission at Faniki Jam is to build global community. So okay. every season, our show travels to a different country or a different city, and we learn about different cultures and different beliefs wow. because we believe that through our through our differences, we find our strength. So we like right. to teach love and acceptance. So for this show that's coming here, yes. our spring celebration show, will be it's called Vamos Todos. So we'll Vamos. be celebrating Hispanic heritage, and we'll go to some other places too. But yeah, that's oh, a that's gist. cool. Yeah. yeah. So you get you get the uh, community together that way too, right? Absolutely. Yeah, we need a lot of that. Yes, that that's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. So that's cool. So all right, and uh, is there anything else? I mean that. Uh, we should know, like... Uh, yeah, f that's a great question. Finiki Jam is different. We we encourage kids to get out of their seats. We want you to come towards the stage. We'll bring some kids on stage with us to interact with the cast. So yeah. it's not your ordinary show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we want you to be involved. Wow. And, yeah. So who, who came up with this whole... Um, yes, that is Brian Barentine. He is the yeah. creator and the founder. He's created all original songs wow. and materials. So Does he have a, a CD they could get when they come? Yes, too? absolutely. We have a CD, yeah, CD. available, and we uh -huh. have you can buy our songs online. We're all over YouTube, 
So oh yeah, what, what, how could they get it online? What's it? Um, you can go to finikijam.com and you can find our songs, our curriculum, our classes, the okay. shows, everything cool. will be there that you need. Right, and, it, and it's it one of big in California so far? Or? Well, our first show is next week. Oh, you not yet it, we haven't, haven't had done? it wow. yet. I know, we're so excited. That's great. But, uh, yeah, wow, congratulations. Wait. Yeah, that's nice. Anything with the kids is nice, you know? I think so, too. Get, get the people away from the computers and stuff, oh, right? exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Yeah. All right. We're here with Ashton Perrick. <laughs> and uh, come down to the show, everybody, here at um, Park Theater here in Union City, right? <laughs> Yes. And what street is this? This is. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Yeah, well, anyway, Park Theater. You can look it up online. Park Theater in Union City, everybody. All right. Who do you like? TV. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay, we're here upstairs at the lounge at the Park Theater, and we're here with the set designer. Costume. She's got costume set design, right? Yes. And um, her name is Anderson, Jennifer Anderson, everybody. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. So tell us what you're going to be doing um, at this great theater. What I'm doing is setting up the costume shop. Um, I have a stock of costumes that will be available for rent. I also design okay. and I cut, build, and drape. I'm an old school costume designer trained out of Paramount Studios cool. in Hollywood. And I can build and make anything you could imagine from the past to the present to the future. Wow. And, you, and, you, and you've done some um, famous artists and stuff, right? Yes, I, I've tailored for Rod Stewart. I've worked with Ringo Starr. Wow. Um, the first show I ever worked on was at Center Theater Group in Los Angeles, where I had the honor of working with Christopher Reeves, who was starring in Summer and Smoke oh, that was by great. Tennessee yeah. Williams. Yeah. Uh, Samuel E. Wright, who's the original Mufasa and also the creator of the character Sebastian the Crab, in The Little Mermaid brought me to New York as his wardrobe assistant on the original production of Lion King on Broadway, of wow, which I'm... that's amazing. Wow, you're like the legend of, uh, you know... See, I've been around the block. Yeah, that's great. No, well, that's good. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? You learned a lot in the business about, you know... And I've had the privilege of working on A Good Marriage with Anthony LaPaglia and Joan Allen. Wow. Uh, I worked on The Family with Robert De Niro and um, Arbitrage right. with Richard Gere. Wow. So that's it. You're, you're like and the legends. You're like the legend of Hollywood with uh, <laughs> this designing clothes and stuff, right? And uh, sorry, one of my favorite stories to share is I was tailoring on, with Lady Gaga's makeup concert at City Lady Field. Ga yeah. And... Uh, myself and one other woman working with the tailor, Michael, and he gets a text 30 minutes before the end of the show, and he's he's like, we don't have another costume for her to wear as an option for the closing. Yeah. All of a sudden you see Michael, the pattern pieces flying here and there, he's cutting, handing stuff to me and this other girl, and within a half an hour, we had created a full-length neoprene coat wow. for her to wear. Wow, see, it was yep. instant, right? Yep. It's nothing we like live. <laughs> All right, let's do it. It's like wow. we're rolling. We're rolling in 30 seconds. Yeah, Can people you are always it? interested in that, like how, how that hap comes about. But, you know, from experience and, uh, you yeah. know, right? And um, I was set costumer on the Naked Brothers Band, and we were shooting about a half hour away from where the costume stock was and the AD looks at me and he goes well are, are there are a couple of people that we can put in suits to be yeah. like 
uh, reporters, and I'm like, oh great, it's not going to get here in time. They're ready to roll in like three minutes, and I'm like, okay, the security guy had a jacket, somebody else had this. Wow. I went and got collected two jackets, and they were ready to shoot. Holy shit. Well, we learned a lot about how <laughs> a set design, a set clothing Costume. designer works. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool stuff. All right. Well, I'm glad that you're here at the uh, Fox Theater now. And there's going to be a lot of legends that are going to be here. And, it's going to um, be a beautiful yeah. space for creative talent. I know. It's, a, it's amazing. This place is really bringing back the, uh, the real talent. And uh, all right, Je Jennifer the Anderson. Heart of hearts. Heart of hearts. Thank you so much Thank for you. sharing your um, lifelong work. It's my pleasure. All right. All right, we're here at Parks Theater, everybody, with Who Do You Like TV? And now we're up here at the gallery where uh, we got a, a great, great artist. And uh, she's Kara, and she's, um, oh, we got Kara and Eric. Yeah. yeah. And you? Kara London, Eric Sorelli. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We go, to, we go together. All right, yeah, cool. You work together, yeah. So you this is all your me. artwork here? Yeah. This is all, all of my papers. Wow. Yes. So what, do you, what is your... Uh, art uh, pertain to like is there certain subjects of um, art that you'd like to do? My subject is really the the act, the art of creating art. Really, it's uh, I love to draw and I love to paint and I love to use the materials. So it really is about the act of painting and drawing and creating more so than a particular. Um, more so than a particular subject matter. So I'll paint still lifes, I'll paint figures, I'll paint landscapes, I'll paint completely abstractly, but it's really about using the material um, right. and, and saying something through drawing and painting and textures and colors that is not with words, really. Right. It, it, it's sort of a different way of communicating. Oh, okay, yeah. So wow. I think that's really behind a lot of what I do. Right. Um, you know, so I now, can... Like, like that painting over there with the, uh, the, the, that's a, a, some oh, kind that's, of plant tree? Yes, that's forsythia. forsythia. I was walking my dog, and, uh -huh. and the forsythia was in bloom early spring, and I, it, I just, I said, oh, I have to paint that. I love the color. I love the color of the sky. And so it's a translating what I see right. and, and making it say something else by using it's sort of capturing the feeling of what I see, the feeling of being outside, the feeling of the clouds in the sky, without being literal, but right. sort of capturing it and so it's a, it's mo else. it's moving like it's a moving yeah like, yeah you know what I mean it's got its it's got its life yeah. so and what about with the dog what is that well uh, the dog is is we have two dogs and this is um, one of them and she loves to sit in that chair right and my idea was I was going to do a portrait of her sitting in the chair and of course. She decided she was not going to sit that day. Right. I said, okay, whatever. It's going to make me work more spontaneously, yeah. and I'm going to capture her doing what she does. And she's a beagle, and she's always on the lookout for critters. So I call it critter alert. Yeah. You know, so she's outside. She's looking at the window, looking out the window, and she is right. reacting to whatever she sees outside. But I, I kind of like the fact that her face. It didn't make it on there, and it's sort of the suggestion. Like you could just sort of feel the, the energy of her, right? Sort of looking, at, looking outside and reacting to something. And there's a yeah. certain spontaneity okay. to the piece. Yeah. So, yeah. so and humor. All right. You know, so. Wow, that's amazing. How, how you 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 spontaneously look at something and I start said, creating it. Yeah, right? I said, oh, I have to capture her. I have to. I have to. All right. I have to. All uh, right, Brian. We got uh, so. We uh, seem to understand more about this uh, great artist here at uh, Parks um, Theater, right? Yeah. And so what is, your, what is the future with this uh, now being here? You're just going to show more? Well, uh, right now, this show will be up. This is all uh -huh. of my work. Right. And it's going to be up for at least a couple of months, probably. Right. And then we go we're going to slowly start to bring in other artists. Okay. And show um, maybe... Uh, I'm going to start out with with other artists that I know, so I can get 
my feet wet with right. sort of running a space and curating other artist shows. Cool. And then we're going to bring in things for, you know, bring in local, local community art. artists that I don't know who they are yet, yeah. but, you know, we'll put feelers out and, and bring other artists, oh, cool. in, local artists in, and we'll see, yeah, we'll see yeah. how it grows. It's, you could, it's you could actually have, like, um, you know, have a lot of different artists at one time, right? Come yeah, up. we can. There. There are many ways oh, yeah. of going about doing it because we have all these different rooms. Yeah. So depending on how uh, I choose to to organize it, but it's organize. a it's a learning experience learning, for me. Yeah. Oh yeah. So uh, one thing is drawing it, and the next thing is uh, they're very selling different. it out, right? They're very different. That's very different. But <laughs> and that's I cool. like I like to I my passion is is, is yeah you got to you got to drawing yeah, and right. creating and and making things and hopefully they speak to right. they speak to the viewer the way i get i is there is there any art. piece of art the, that you favor the most like the, of like my one own piece or yeah or of your own that you would oh. say like you could name one it, yeah. it that's hard it 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 kind of varies the, yeah um a lot of them are sort of diary pieces to me yeah. that they have nothing to do with the art, but oh, they, wow. but they're for me they're remembrances of certain times. Okay, so, times. All right. That's so, what I mean. but yeah. but that is not the viewer's experience. But like right. this one here, I did when I was in France. Uh, the one above it happens to have a tablecloth that was my grandmother's and a samovar, right. which came from my grandfather's brother from the Soviet Union. Wow. You, you, that he never got to see his brother again, but uh, this was sent to us. So I have that. So that's a personal, uh, yeah. th that they personally mean something to me and yeah. they remind me of where I was when I did it. So right. it's sort of like a yeah, diary. Yeah, that's, uh, that's cool. Yeah, that's So what... it's always hard to sort of part with things if they sell or right. when they sell, but that's, that's because I'm giving it's a, part it's, of me it's a away. Part in, but that's what I'm supposed to do. time <laughs> in life too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, so all right. So, um, um, we'll, Get people to come up here and see your work. I hope so. And then I they'll, hope they'll so. see it on they'll see it on um, cable, the cable station and and hopefully, and hopefully people will um, yeah. Well, we'll how can they the get arts. in touch with you on on uh, um, the, uh, well we're on at website. Well, my website is uh, www.caralondon.com. Okay. And um, they could reach me at what's the gallery? Gallery at Park. Theaternj.org. Okay, there you uh, go. Theater T R E. Oh. So, yeah. yeah, gallery at Park Theatre. Theatre right. New NJ so dot org. To, all right, so but, it'll be on the Parks Theatre. Uh, yeah, website. it's on the Park Theatre. All right, great. All right, so thank you so much, Carol, thank for you. sharing your artwork. Oh, my and, pleasure. And uh, hopefully they'll come up and see you. I hope so. And uh, come. yeah, and uh, they'll support check the it, arts. Check it out live. Yes. All right. Who do you like TV? Yeah.